Good morning, guys. I need I um I took a, a couple of minutes today, guys. I've been very busy, guys. I hope you understand. Uh, everyone understands on my channel and on other channels. Okay, I have I follow a, a big mag. I apologize, guys, that I haven't been um on there like I used to before. Remember before I was stressed, depressed, and all the essences, okay? With everything that was going through in New Jersey. So, y'all know that story if you've watched my videos. Y'all know what I was going through. Um, things weren't getting any better. The only thing that was good, okay, that I was on it, okay, really hard. If you look at my videos, guys, if you haven't seen my preps that I did, the hauls that I did, um, everything was left behind, okay? I don't know what I was thinking about, but when you're going through a hard situation and you got to make decisions in a split second, okay? In a split second, guys, it's, it's, you know, once, once, um, my youngest son found out and he traveled. So if you watch my video, you will see where I was living at, at the end of losing my apartment to electrical fire. Guys, that's a disaster, okay? I didn't need that. All because I went away and the landlord took advantage of going in there and doing what the hell he wanted to do. And I already was in the process of relocating, but not in a rush. But I always say, excuse the background noise, guys, but I'll, I'll try to talk in between. Um, what I went through, guys, I never went through in my life. I went through a lot of hard times, but damn, never losing my apartment and being practically almost homeless, uh, freezing my buns off in a, in, a, in a enclosed porch. The heat wouldn't even kick in because cold air from winter was seeping in through the edges of the bed to the point that I had comforters. My comforters were under the bed, the twin size bed. You can only get in and get out. So if you go back to my videos, the ones that have been there for me, gosh, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. There are two subscribers, guys, that reached out to me. I don't know anything about them. I know very little because I received a, a Gmail some time ago before I even started going through issues, guys. You know, you get attached, you get attached, guys, to people on behind a camera when you have a good heart okay you always have a good heart when you do things do it with good intentions if you don't have nothing good to put out there don't make the video don't make a video for making a video because you know you're you're gonna ramp the views or, or whatnot see if that's not me it'll never be me like i said it'll grow when it will grow and um I like outdoors, guys. You have no idea how much I love of the outdoors and getting around. And um, but when you go through a lot of issues like I went through, that y'all have no idea of the things that I haven't said to you because I don't want you to feel sorry for me. I don't want you to feel sorry for me. I just want you to understand. Watch the video. Give me some encouragement. Okay. If you can help me in any way, this is what I need right now. It's a little bit of a push of help. So I put my cash app up there because um, that helps, okay? That helps. That helps. Right now, I'm drinking my cup of coffee, okay? Um, I'm still trying to get two and two together. Um, and I did do accomplish a lot, guys. And... When you sit quietly in a, in a spot, if you are a faithful person and you believe in God, you got God in your heart. Because I can't do no wrong to anybody, guys. It, it's just not in me. I would not be able to sleep, okay? Ever. I'm just that type of person. Um, doors open for you, okay? Doors open for you. You can stress all you want. Because it's it's just natural, okay? It's natural. You go through a hard situation. It's natural to excuse me, guys. It's natural to have those feelings, to have that fear. Um, my 
only option was continue to look for something. Continue to freeze my behind. I have health issues, guys. I'm not healthy. I have I take medication. Okay. I'll tell you, I have high blood pressure. I have asthma. Okay. What else the hell do I have arthritis? Um I got pinched nerves on my neck and my back from a motorcycle accident. I've been through so much in my whole life. Like y'all have no idea. From the time I, I, I had my children, it's just um trying to supply for them. That was in my young days. Um I had two. Then down the line, ten year gap. I um hooked up with the wrong person. Okay, you know how it is, they switch you all up and whatnot, and then it's like you and your life and I'm in my life and and that's how I got caught up into that rapture. And it winded up having two more, which I am blessed. I love my children. I love all my children. Four, and I got a bunch that aren't even mine. That they call me mom. And they still hit me up on the phone. Mom, how you doing? You know? I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Um, so, at least I have my son out here. My daughter's out here still waiting for her processing and whatnot and whatnot. It takes time, you know. It takes time. I could see the the, the the distress in her, you know, because she's not the person to sit around and wait, just, you know, get to it. But everything takes time, guys. Even when I was um, um, single and living in New York, you know, because I was born and raised in New York, um, it wasn't easy to get a job. I, I did I did fast food. I did restaurants. I did clothing stores. I, I did everything, guys. I was a travel agent. That was I was my longest job was a travel agent for TFI. And one of my subscribers Googled it up uh, some time ago. It still exists. So one day I'm gonna take the ride when I'm in a better position to to roam. Okay, better position to say, okay, let me take this this fifty dollars of gas up and let's go, you know, see this and let's go see that. And we're gonna get there. But when you relocate, guys, you have to you have to up uh, um I want to apologize because when you relocate, um, you don't have it all. You, I barely had money to make it down here, guys. I almost ran out of gas. And I can't keep asking my son for help. I couldn't because he was the one who traveled to New Jersey for no reason because his fiance told me, I don't know what the hell got into him, that he just had to go to New Jersey, had to go to New Jersey. And so we winded up out there. And then he went, he wanted, he was desperate to see you. You know, children, children have, um, your children, I don't care how good or bad they may be because mine are all, you know, um, sometimes they'll get on the damn nerves and shit like that. It's natural, it's natural. Um, they get these instincts, okay? Something's wrong, and it's me. I, I have heavy instincts, okay? I was thinking about somebody last night. And the day before. And I get a text this morning, okay? And I was like, I was just thinking about this person for two days. My instincts got when you're close to people, not close, you don't have to be close to them, but you know, they could be farthest and the, the you want to keep them far. You want to keep them far um, because they weren't any good in your life. But they are part of something in your life. Okay? And something big happened. I don't know, guys, because I have still don't have no information. I just received a text. I won't tell you right now what it is because I actually don't know. But the text was very concerning, very worrying. Not the fact that I am nowhere close. But there are some attachments in there in the past. Okay? And one thing has not to do with the other. Many people don't understand that. One thing, one person has nothing to do with the other. Um, so anyway, guys, let's leave it at that for now because I don't know what's going on. This person's not around here either, but um, it has to do with things in my life. Anyway, at a distance, okay, at a mileage distance. We keep it that way, okay? Yeah. But anyway, it's part of something in 
your life and the life of others that are in my life okay so anyway it's not easy to relocate you have to learn your way around because nobody's going to teach it to you um you have to get out okay now my son brought me from new jersey once he saw where i was at guys it was over three thousand dollars to rent me a place that the pictures did not um match what i went into so you now i don't rely on virtual tours now i have to see with my own eyes so in that place that you saw the video that i was oh you know in the beginning guys oh i look good i was you know because you're new to a place so you, you feel good there's nothing good about it guys it was nothing but breathing this whatever fumes i will show you i have a bit i have a couple of videos to load up but i'm not going to load them up yet because i need to make a couple of videos to explain this process okay <clears throat> So, I left from there. I didn't have any money to get out of there. But one day my son came around. And I was laying down. And you know how you lay down and, and you look a mess? Because I was a hot mess that week. I was stressing, guys. Oh, Lord, what am I going to do? Um, I was getting cramped up. Everything was starting to hurt. Even to think I had to take a Tylenol, okay, or an ibuprofen. An Advil. Just to think, guys. If I had to think about anything, I had to take something for pain. Because thinking hurt it. Man, it's like a joke, you know, but it's the truth. I didn't want to think. I was, I was kind of giving up. Didn't know what to do. No money. Use whatever I had to get down here. And get little basic necessities and whatnot. You know, like food. And not even a whole lot of food either. It was just maybe a couple of days. I don't like asking anyone for anything. But I did say a couple of times. I put my cash app up there. So y'all have a good heart. Two dollars, three dollars, five dollars. Okay? If you can. If your heart tells you to. That will help me with other things right now. So anyway, guys, I have two angels. I have two angels, guys. Um, God sent them. Um, from the time I uh, got to Florida to the time I moved into this new condo. Paying the same amount of money that I was paying at the other um I would, the garage, it was a garage made into an efficiency. I had no access to the internet. The lady would not allow me to have an extra box and pay her the money. It was always an issue. Then they started giving me the attitude, the uh, like I'm invisible in there. And I started feeling kind of awkward. Then all the neighbors were like over 80 some years old. Everybody had a sickly condition. I'm like, Lord have mercy. I am sick as it is. I am getting sicker by the day. My mind is not set. And every time I ran into someone outside to, you know, to say hi to me, they had all kinds of health conditions. And it just made me feel like more sick. I said, oh, Lord, I feel more sicker than I am feeling sick. Not feeling sick, but besides my issues. I'm like, oh, God. Okay, when you start talking, when you, when you, when you get, when you get around people talking about diseases and sickness and all the ailments they have, they start sticking to you like, 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 uh, like gum. And I was feeling sick when I went inside my house, you know, that little uh, garage. I was like, oh my God, I can't take this. I need some positive, you know. Uh, motivation, but I'm not going to tell him my issues or give him any information because I don't know them. So I always keep my neighbors on the high, the buy, but if they ever need anything, guys, you know, I don't I don't care. If I have a gallon of milk, but they need it, I'll give it to them. If they need groceries, I'll make, I'll make a bag and I'll give it to them. That's just me. I've done it many times. Friends? Everybody's not your friend. I learned that the hard way. They don't even call me anymore. 
I did speak to one that was like my best friend. And I just told her a little bit of something. And you know, everyone knows me in the town of New Jersey where I did my gigs, my DJ karaoke gigs and my pool tournaments. I'm loved by everybody, guys. I'm just a lovable person. What can I tell you? I have good vibes, good energy. And when people come close to me or get close to me, they get attached and I get attached. And you start to trust people. Well, that little bit of information I gave was really nothing was to do any damage or anything like that or anything bad. But it was spread around like a rumor, okay? They left New Jersey and, oh, man, she, she, she's living in a garage and, oh, my gosh, she's doing terrible out there. She should have stayed out here. She should have did this, that. You know, I, well, you're supposed to be my best friend. I confided in you. All my secrets, everything I was going through, even when I was feeling pain. Because I do get a pain on my side, guys. No joke. I have to. Um, I, I was going to a doctor in New Jersey. And it doesn't look good, okay? And I noticed that twice I, since I've been here, I, I climbed onto my son's truck, okay? Because he was taking me to places that I don't know where to start at, too. Buy this or buy that because an angel came to my rescue. Two angels, guys. I can understand one because she has a bunch of kids. But even if she has a bunch of kids, and I have to say, Janice Knight, Janice Knight, okay, she did send me a couple of hundred dollars, okay? And that was when I was in uh, New Jersey. And that's the gas that I used to come down here. I had another angel a week ago, okay? And not even a week ago, before that, she had sent me $50, $100, okay? And I used it to buy the food I had in that garage, along with Janice's, Janice Knight, okay? I won't mention this other angel because I don't know her personally. We are a godly God. We know we are godly. We are connected to God. We have a lot of faith. And she sent me a message of Corinthians. And I, was, I read it like 10 times. I still read it, guys. I still read it. I said, that's me. That's me. That's her. And that's me. That's my sister. Okay sister in Christ I was like wow powerful message and I'll make another video to show you what that message was I'm putting you know pieces together so give me some time guys to get it get that video together because you are going to be you are going to be broke down okay you're going to break down I broke down I was sitting here one day I moved into this condo. I am paying no money. Well, I did. I gave my son my whole check. Okay. Once I, and, and I didn't even remember that I had a virtual tour with my own eyes in this place. I couldn't even remember at the end of the day. We went to so many places. Because when he went to see me in that garage and I opened the door, I didn't expect him. I was a hot mess. Guys, I was looking like a hot freaking mess. I was like, wow, what is wrong with you? Look at your hair. Look at you. don't have anything on. You, look at you. That's not you. What's wrong with you? I said, son, I'm so stressed out. I don't know what to do. I mean, I came out here, you know, I know it's a start. But this is getting harder by the day. I can't be locked up in these four walls and you go outside. You're prohibited to talk to the neighbors. Well, because they have so many issues with the neighbors. I got nothing to do with that. camera posted right in front of my door and I have no privacy you can't speak because you don't know they might have something in the roof that they're listening to you they're very weird they were Venezuelans very weird a realtor independent so I started thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and cracking my head it just got worse the more I thought the more my thoughts would hurt 
My son said, come on, Ma, you need to get out of here. Let's, let's take a ride. He was working up towards farther, three hours from where I was at, but he was coming and driving south. And he was going to pass my, the town that I was in. And he decided to stop. Many times he works up there, but he doesn't stop. His fiance has dinner ready for him because, you know, that's how they are. They have a beautiful life, guys. I don't interfere with anyone's life. I'm not going to be up in his house. Okay, no. That's not me. Even though he's my son, I'm not going to be knocking on his door for every little, you know, thing that I am going through or calling him to, to distress his mind. I try to fix things on my own. So, we took a ride. Two hour ride, right? It was dark already. We were still picking up brochures from all over this area, wherever I'm at, okay? Beautiful town. I'll tell you where I'm at now. Right? And I saw this one. We saw this one. He took a virtual tour. He took video of it. Nice. But I don't know what the procedure is. I don't know. Credit, or this, or that. I said, you know what? This is not going to happen. He was all souped up, and I was like, yeah, it's nice and everything. But in the back of my mind, it was like, here comes the credit. Here comes, you know, the, um, you got to make uh, twice whatever the rent is. So I really totally forgot that I had seen this place. Guys, I am not lying to you. And about 11 o'clock and then he texts me, Ma, what do you think about that place that we saw? Because the other ones, they have nothing available right now till like May or April. And, you know, I want to get you a place now. What about that place we've seen? What place we've seen? We've seen that. We just picked up brochures and asked for how much was the rent, no availability, and we left. We said thank you, and we left. No, oh, Ma, there was one that we, were, we went in a gold park, and they showed us one. Well, guess what? This is not the one that I see. It's the same layout. But when I, I said, you know what? I said, Ma, put the application in tonight because it's a special. After tomorrow, the price is going to go up. And I was like, I know how to fill applications out in New, in New Jersey, New York, whatever, New Jersey, New Jersey. You know, out that area. Just fill out your form and give your paychecks proof and that's it. And sometimes they're credit. But this one, I told him, the one I had, my apartment, that I had the electrical, when I went to see it, I said, listen, if you're going to go through my credit, I'm going to tell you right now, it stinks. Okay? It's no good for nothing. I even for a candy bar on credit. No good. So if that's going to be an issue, then I'm not going to waste my time. So find somebody else. And he said, no, no, don't even worry about it. As long as your income, you know, it's okay. I said, well, okay. That's how I wind up in that apartment. Otherwise, I would not have had it. I was blessed again because I came out with the truth. Now my credit is is on almost on the good side. It was good enough to rent here. It went through. Before it didn't go through for the past two years, three, four years, it would not go through. I've had this plan planning for four years. It never happened. Why? Credit. Credit is important, guys. And I think to myself, well, if I don't pay the rent, the credit, the credit is not going to pay for it. So why do they go? But they want to see your credit worthy. Well, the only way they're going to see your credit worthy is when you pay your rent. They know you pay your rent on time. Then you're credit worthy. But I don't want to stay in that system, guys. I never will. But anyway, I, I'm happy here. This, 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 this place right here, I love it. Um, it was a different apartment, condo, we call them condos, um, it's a big complex, it's a huge complex, guys, has two pools, I haven't even seen the pools yet, I, I haven't been anywhere, I haven't been anywhere but, but, uh, to the trash compactor, and a trash place that you put your garbage in, you know, for boxes and stuff like that, because one of that, one of my subscribers, she, um, sent me through my cash app without even thinking twice god bless her heart i will make a video later on okay 
and everything that I was able to purchase, okay, it came from her blessing me. Like I said, anything helps, okay? Anything. Um, I came down here with nothing. My son gave me the bed and the little square dresser that you could put those collapsible, put your clothes in there. So that's what I have. I didn't have anything else. Okay. Oh, and my two TVs. That's all I brought. And important papers. I have lots of baggage, um, backpacks full of papers from years, maybe when I was young. Um, so it's a lot of bags that I had to, I could not leave it behind because my, my son's military papers, he has them, but I have what the, what the, um, military base office, government, whatever has sent me. It was a lot. So I have stuff that is important. Which bag is it? I have no idea. So I had to drive with every single one of them and leave all my preps behind. And that is an important issue that it cracks my head every day is prepping. I have to start prepping soon. Guys, I'm telling you the truth. I hope everyone is prepped for a year or more by election time. Okay. Now, this is peaceful here. As you can see, I have no neighbors across the street. Nowhere down the road. Okay. That's like a uh, Home Depot, the backside of a Home Depot. All the way from here, all the way to down there. Okay. They have plenty of cameras there because I've seen them already. And, um,. Police presence is always, every 20 minutes, I've noticed. They did tell me they're in that complex. They also come through here and they go around. They have security and all that. Just, you know, to make sure that the cars that are here belong here or their company. If they frequently see them, that's okay. They're not going to be knocking on your door or nothing like that. They're aware that if you have people on vacation, they're not going to come knocking on your door about, oh, you have a lease for, you know, one, two people, and then you got five people. We have family if they want to travel down the line. Hey, you know, it's okay. It is what it is, guys. So, if it came to that, you can't be selfish about shit. I had to struggle to get my own shit, so why should you come in and, you know. But if that was to happen down the line, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but if that was to happen, you got to give a helping hand because God is not going to like you things that you do so anyway that's just like an example but um that's all there is back there and then what you yonders from that home depot was like a ice cream police and, and a couple of Ajin and t-mobile store and whatnot there's a gas station like maybe three miles up the main avenue to everything is like maybe five miles up I'm nowhere close to the city i'm on the second floor very well secured and um, today my son was going to take me to um, a fair it's for your carry permit he says mom I want you to have a carry permit I said I want to have one too but I'm not ready for that right now it's like no you got to get ready for that right now okay you got to because he already found out everything that I've been telling him for the past four years. And they don't believe. They're starting to see and hear. Not see, but hear. And, well, he's been loaded anyway since he got out of the military. He's been, he's loaded. He's loaded with different, different types of, of those things, okay? And plenty of ammo. For my daughter, too. But I want to get my own. And I wasn't even thinking about it, but he texted me last week, Mom, there's a fair, today, actually today, it's the fair, I don't know what time, he sent me a screenshot or one, I don't know, I don't know if he wants me to go to it or he's going to go with me, I, I have no idea. I'm not going to call him to ask him either because I don't want to break whatever plans they have today, I don't try, I try not to intervene because they have their life set and they do on the weekends what they can't do on the week because they both work hard. 
So maybe I'm gonna take a right, maybe I won't. Just to see. But um it's seventy-five dollars in total to take a one hour or two hour class. Um it's a fair. Take a one or two hour class and you get your carry permit right there. Then you could purchase down the line your own gun and you learn how to use it. So I know he had told me when when I'm gonna take you to buy a gun. Not now, but I'm gonna take you. I'm gonna let you know when, but I want you to get that carry permit first. So I guess maybe that's why he wants to get the carry permit first. Um he said when I, I'm I'm gonna buy it for you, but I wanna go with you. I'm gonna take you to where he got his, all of his. To make sure that you can manage that one. I said I can manage a Glock. Because I've had it in my hands. At shooting ranges. You know what I can manage. Because I've been with you to shooting ranges. When you was in Colorado. Station. Before deployments and after deployments. I used to fly. I, I was good. I was in good standing guys. I've never been in this situation. Well yes I've been. My younger days when I got independent. And decided to go on my own. Because home was a chaos. I was abused. I had mistreatment. I had hell of beatings for no reason. I'm alive because God wants me alive. There's a purpose for me to to be here. That's what I always say. Because I don't think I would have been here. Maybe that's why my head sometimes clinks and clanks and goes, you know, wanders off because of everything that I went through in my young days since a child. You want to hear one of the things? I don't hold any grudges on anything because, you know, back days, parents were like a different lifestyle. The party and all that stuff and I don't know what else. Rough was in the 60s and 70s. Oh, so the hell no. I don't know. But you know those milk crates that they used to use back in the days to leave your milk at the door? You know those crates. I don't know if I ever had milk delivered like at our house or whatever. But it was upside down in front of a stove. Dirty stove that was dirtied up from the night before from the partying. Well, I was locked up in the attic. Locked up in an attic. And I was woken up through my hair. That's why sometimes I keep short hair. Because anybody would have me through my hair again. And I had to clean that stove and not leave one spot. Because if I left a spot, those, those metal, I'd be right upside my head. So that's just a little. Don't feel sorry for me, guys, because I let everything go. It, it was part of that life. I know I wasn't supposed to pay for broken dishes like that. Or have a life like that. Or have a childhood like that. I didn't have a child. I didn't have a doll. I didn't know anything. So I'll tell you a little bit more down the line. I don't want to think about that right now. But I forgive. Because you have to. You have to. Everyone in their lifetime has a rough situation. Sometimes there's things they don't want to talk about. But they're there. And I try to block them out. I blocked them out for many years. And my heart could not push to anything that, or wish anyone, okay? Not even a dog. So anyway, guys, I apologize that I haven't made a video in a while. I hope you understand. Forgive me. You can leave it on your comments. If I haven't gotten to your comments because I had the internet issues in the other place, and only I'm trying to get my stuff squared out, my doctor's appointment squared out. I have a a I have a long um, a long road ahead of me with medical. Okay, I'll keep you updated. That stuff is stressing me the hell out. Okay, it's really stressing me the hell out, guys. And I pray every day, God. You know, put your hand towards this pain. And what doesn't belong to me, take it. Get it out. Heal me. And, um, 
So it is what it is, guys. So in between that, I haven't been out because if I do any anything heavy, even climbing on my son's truck because he put that kit where you lift the truck up and then to get down is an issue. And due to that, I get that pain on my side. It's like a muscle when it stretches a muscle, but it's more than that, guys. It's more than that. I, it's more than that. There's something in there that has to come out. And they're trying to rule this and rule that out, and that is scary, guys. That is so scary when you're seeing new doctors and and, and uh, you know they send you here and they send you there, and then your appointment your appointments get canceled, and then you're in the process of finding a nice place, and you're feeling so good, and you love it, and you're thinking, my God, is this is it for me, or am I gonna, you know? A lot of things go through your head, guys. These doctors they're scared the fuck out of you. So I pray to God that it's nothing bad because I gained some weight. I've been eating right. I, I, I everything is, is, you know, okay. Um, and I pray every day. Give me health, guys. You know, God, because I didn't come out here. I want to enjoy my children. I want to travel to see my grandkids. All my grandkids to be able to go travel with my son and his wife and whatnot. And um, I want to enjoy. I came down here to enjoy my life a little, you know, because I, I never, I never, never. Uh, it, it, it's all pay bills and be stuck at home. Here I have a breather. Guys, this is nothing compared to the north. It's so peaceful. I feel so peaceful, guys. Uh, you have no idea. I sleep like the whole night when I used to be up 15 times a night drinking coffee, drinking coffee, drinking coffee. Wasn't eating. Now you see, look at I'm puffy. Okay, I'm eating. I gained some weight. I've noticed I gained some weight. You know how you know when you gain some weight, you're going to wipe your butt. You're like, wait a minute. Oh, let me pull this cheek up a little bit higher. You know, that's when you know, oh, wait a minute, the butt's getting bigger. <laughs> so, I had lost my ass. Guys, I had lost my butt. Where are my cheeks? Hey, where are my cheeks? So, guys, <laughs> I know y'all have fun with me, but it's the truth. And I look a lot better, right? Yeah, I look a lot better. Except for that lady that messed up my hair. She just missed a chunk of hair. Lord have mercy. But, it, you know, my hair grows very fast, so as you can see, it's a, I got you. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll work around it, but it doesn't matter. It's my least of my worries. Um, I haven't been out, guys. I don't know what's around here. I only twice with my daughter. She stays home because uh, uh, well, she does a little DoorDash whenever it's available. I don't. Know. Okay, it's, it's off and on and whatnot. Um, but her job is still on wait. I think another one. So it's kind of hard on her because she got hella bills. But I know that this is tax time. So I know, I mean, we don't speak about it, but I know that either she has that, or she has to complain about a bill. And I can't help her. <laughs> okay. I, can, I can help her with a little bit of my check. Next month, the middle of next month, I can not help her. But, you know, she has bills. But she did save before she decided to come. And sometimes I feel guilty because she's down here because mom came down here. If she ain't down here because she wanted to come down here. If I would have been a judge, she would have still had a job. Yes. She didn't tell me a damn thing. But I can read through the lines. I can, I, I'm very, uh, uh, the instincts are not there. And I know that's the reason why she's here. So if I have to help her with $50 for a bill, her phone or whatnot, you know, I gotta do it. So I'm gonna throw my cash app up here just so I can relieve a little bit of her stress. Because I had I have an angel who relieved my stress. And now I don't have to drink um I had my coffee and stuff in the in the in the car, my coffee jugs. Okay, my car was still loaded. I didn't empty my van out in one day. I, I emptied it out what, the day before yesterday I finished emptying it out. All this bag and my coffee cups. Um, I was drinking out of plastic cups, my coffee, okay, um, so this angel came into my life, God sent her for a reason, and I was able to get this, this balcony set, a living room set, a cheap living room set, when it gets here, I will show it to you, I was able to get that, but that was the last on my list, I filled up my fridge, um, I paid the, the, the money for Bella, okay, 
um, when I go to the doctor's this uh, ne middle of next this coming week, I will ask them to update that letter so that they will accredit that three hundred dollars towards future rent. Um, I thought because you moved in the middle of a month, you pay your rent in the middle of a month. No, it's the first. Well, the first is not enough to pay my rent, and then my phone bill is due. So that angel, what she sent me, that made a lot of things happen. And when I show you the video, everything you see except for the bed, except for the bed, okay, and the dresser that you'll see in the bedroom. When I do upload that video, everything else, okay, I was able to get with this angel in my life through my channel, okay, just so you know, um, I didn't just misspend anything, I got what God gives you, when you pray, he listens, and you gotta have that faith, and I've always had faith, that's, that's something I will never lose, and when you ask, you don't ask for what you want. You ask for what you need, your necessity, your basic necessity. You don't ask for sofas. You don't ask for area rugs. You don't ask for um, a new car. You don't ask, you know, for um, a camera. You don't ask for nothing like that. You're supposed to ask for food, for your necessities to supply your needs. What you mostly need is food. Um, microwave to warm your food. I didn't have any pots and pans. I had two. I was able to get a whole set of pots and pans. I was able to buy microwave. Um, shower curtain. My daughter bought the shower curtain out of her money. She shower curtain. She purchased with the whole set with the soap dish for like twelve bucks at a Ross 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 or a DD discount. Some one of them stores. They're very cheap. Um, there is a a table, another dresser. You could use it as a dresser. You could use it for the living room. So Walmart. Um, and then my son put it together for me. That was something that now my TV is, is on top of something. And it's drawers to put whatever I might need to put. And if I don't put any drawers, I can put my plants. I can put um, my little godly pictures, okay, or ceramics that I've purchased that I have put away. I can put them there. Um, in this place, I can, I ask them, you know, I, I have a picture of something that I treasure a lot that I've had for so many, it has a story behind it. Can I, can I put a, a nail, or a screw, a screw, you know, just, just, just my screw, that's it, I'm not going to make any holes, I'm going to just, man, you can mount the TV to the wall if you want, you can, you can do what you want. Uh, whenever you leave this place, uh, just we just put some spackle and paint it. Doesn't matter. You do what you want to do here. Make yourself comfortable. This is your home. Welcome to our community. I said, oh, that was a relief. Okay, it was very important to me. So, guys, um, I'll leave you with that. And um, when you see the video when I upload it of my new place. Everything, everything that you see in that video, right? except for the little things that you've seen before, so we'll look at it closely, okay? I have a big cup that has a Corinthian uh, verse on it, and this YouTube angel sent me another uh, verse from Corinthians, and then later, after that, I received a shocking surprise. A shocking surprise, guys. That at least I have a chair to sit on. Right here in this balcony. Um, and many other things. Including, my refrigerator is not as big as the one I had over there. But, I was able to can up extra cans of food. Okay, but what I couldn't put in the fridge. I, I also got some canned food, beans, vegetables, I 
did a little bit of prex with that also to be on the safe side. So I, I, I went to, she knows who she is. I, we communicated. It's not all the time. It's like maybe once in a blue moon, but she is my angel. I call her my angel. And if you're listening to this video, um, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Okay. And to the new subscribers, thank you for joining in. A lot of them have left because I didn't make up any videos, but it's going to get better because now I have a better peace of mind. And guys, I found a couple of campgrounds, but I can't do them now. I will do them next month. We're going to go camping, okay? Yes. And some other places that you don't need any money to go in, okay? You got kayaking and I don't know what now, but it's like a... Like a family place that you can just go in. But they close and open at a certain time and whatnot. So, And they have trails and stuff like that. And camping grounds. So, uh, and one is $25 a night. So, I think one night we'll do. <laughs> one night we'll do. Okay, we're going to Ada. Um, I do have all my camping gear. And um, I am happy. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy with what others Okay, what this angel accomplished for me, my son paid half of what I was supposed to pay to get this place, uh, including, um, uh, no, not including Bella. This angel saved my Bella, guys. Yes. I was able to pay the $300. Plus $320 to get the water, the water and the light connected. So we also did that. And there was the extra that I had. Well, my son, I gave it to him to take care of whatever needed to be done. Because I wouldn't know where to start. Who to call, what to do, or what have. Um, so my cash app is open, guys. I'll ask you one time. It doesn't matter. $2, $3, $5. Um, at least just for, for... To get me through this month. I already did a lot with my angel as paying towards what needed to be paid towards that was still pending though they gave me two weeks to update the letter but it didn't matter I still had to pay at three hundred um, dollars for Bella okay and even if I get the uh, when I get yes uh, when I get the letter updated when I see my doctor next week this new doctor uh, with all the damn issues that I, I it, it, it started in New Jersey um, I have to take care of it here as soon as possible, okay? Um, it will be a procedure, okay? It will be a procedure, guys. A, maybe a one-day procedure, God willing, okay? I will let you know down the line when that time comes, but right now, I don't want to think about that. I, I, I tell God, place your hand, okay? And, and you know what? The pain just goes away. But if I do any lifting, pushing, pulling, and I've done lifting, pushing, pulling, guys, I had no pain. But it's when I get in my son's truck. I think it aggravates that side. And where I have that issue is scary. It scares the hell out of me. The doctor told me, ah, oh, don't worry about it because these specialists, you know, they 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 they're, they're awesome. They they'll take care of that. But it doesn't no. Um, that's not enough for me. I want to really get it done and out and over with. I'm scared, guys. I'm so scared. Even though I look good. And I, my normal self daily. But I'm scared. But there's nothing that I haven't been through that was more scary than well, again, I can't say, really, I can't tell you that, what happened in the past that scared the heck out of me and I made it through. Um, I knew I would make it through this one too, because God relocated me for a purpose, okay, for a purpose, enjoy myself and leave that stress I had behind. So, um, if y'all... I'll say, you know, if, if your heart touches you, my cash app is there. 
I would truly appreciate it. This is the first of the month coming next week. I have to complete a hundred and something dollars for my rent. And twenty dollars for Bella because even if you get the letter updated and they have three hundred dollars, if I don't get it updated, they keep the three hundred dollars. If I get it updated, they then they'll apply that three hundred towards my rent. That's what that's what I do. That's what I'm going to do because she is in an ESA puppy. Um and uh then I'll be fine. Three weeks from now I'll be on track. Okay, I'll, I will be on track, guys. But right now, it's so hard. But do you know what? This angel that I was telling you about, uh, I cried. I thank God. And it, it, I was able to get what I needed, not what I wanted, but I love it, okay, I love it, it's what I need, and some more food for my fridge, and canned goods, so guys, thank you so much for watching, and um, apologize again that I've been off the channel I've been trying to catch up with others yes I do remember I had no internet out there unless I went to the vehicle and I couldn't take the smell of the cats my asthma was off the hook guys I mean I haven't used my asthma pump I made it once in a blue moon and I was using it like it was candy um, so I feel happy. I mean, I, I'm, I'm peaceful, guys. I'm peaceful. And I have two angels that reached out when I most needed it. Okay? I didn't reach out to grow my channel. I didn't reach out to buy junk food. I I, I don't even know what, you know, junk food? No. Um, I didn't reach out to, to make a go out uh, party and stuff, but no. I went to Walmart. I went to Walmart. And I got what I mostly needed before I left the door. I said a prayer. When I saw that, I cried. I said a prayer. And I hope one day to meet her in person. Both of you. And many of you. Okay, down the line. So if uh, you would like, guys, I truly appreciate it for now next month i'll be fine okay i'll be fine but it takes a lot when you relocate and you come with nothing um so when you see the video i'm not gonna upload it today but think about what i just said okay and how god works this was god's work guys yes it is yes it is and for those that know the Bible or read the Bible, because some people say, oh, thank God, it's like, you don't even read the Bible. It won't take time to read the Bible or anything, okay? Um, I would truly recommend to you, you can watch it on YouTube, you can watch it on Netflix, or, what, or Prime, if you have. I got rid of Netflix, I only have Prime. Uh, my daughter has Netflix, that's how I'm able to watch or I watch it on YouTube. The book of the uh, Luke, the book of Luke, guys. Okay. The book of Luke will open up a lot of doors for you. Um, you will learn. Okay, you will learn a lot from the book of Luke. So have a blessed Sunday, guys, and um, and blessings to every single one of you. All right. So I will catch you guys down the line. Hope you enjoyed this video. And um, I truly appreciate every single one of you guys. Every single one of you. So. Thank you again. And God bless the two angels. I will always pray for you. And I will be in contact with you. 
um, down the line. I mean, you know, we'll stay in contact on and off. I mean, it's not an everyday thing, guys. I don't even think that we communicate every day or something like that. It's like, it's like I don't know. They just come, they just come from, 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 I mean, least expected. And that day I was going through a hell of a shit on my mind. I was going crazy. And things happen. God made his work. So I thank you guys. Um, again. Oh, I can still see the planes. <laughs> it's a beautiful view out here, guys. So the apartment that I was supposed to get, it had houses in front of it. Not close to, but far away. Back there. <laughs> And when I got the keys, I came over here with my son. Um, and I got this beautiful view. So isn't God good? I needed that that distressing okay, view. And he blessed. I don't know. He must have changed somebody's mind in the office or they made a big mistake. God put his hand on there because this beautiful view does wonders for me, guys. It does wonders. To sit here at nighttime, and I got my little mirror, little um, solar lights here, and it's so relaxing. Okay, so I apologize I haven't been around or on your channels because I was really busy and really down and out with an empty apartment. So I got a set of dishes, I got a set of pots and pans, I got a microwave, I got some extra canned goods. I got a table to set my tape, my TV on, so it doesn't sit on the floor and I'd be bumping into it or anything like that. Um, my Bella doesn't know how to get through the sliding door. She has bumped her head on the sliding door. <laughs> it's cold and she's trying to get out. I heard it all the way in the bedroom. I was laying down. I didn't know where to sit. And I was able to get a living room set um, on that budget. Uh, when it comes, I'll let y'all know. I'll show it to you. I'll give you a full dead video. Okay, but. Give me some time, and I will show you what Angel came and did to my rescue. Hi, right, guys. So, y'all have a happy Sunday today, Sunday. God bless. And have a beautiful day. And always stay positive, even if you're feeling down and out. Don't give up. Do not give up. Okay, guys? I have another video tonight um, about what's going on. What to be careful for. Okay. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much. And I love you all, guys. As always, prepper hugs, fan life hugs, okay? Angel hugs. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you.